There's a new $270 million stem cell research initiative tonight that paves the way for New Jersey to take a leadership role in the field. Governor Corzine signed into law a bill that funds new stem cell research laboratories around the state. As State House correspondent Jim Hooker reports, the governor also announced he'll ask voters next year to approve still more funding. They came with all manner of afflictions, from spinal cord injuries and juvenile diabetes to autism, all looking to this ceremony as another critical step toward finding a cure for what so far has eluded science and medicine. I can still develop terrible complications as I get older, like kidney disease, blindness, and amputations, and I'm very scared of that. In the case of central nervous system disorders such as Alzheimer's, spinal cord, and Parkinson's disease, the greatest scientific minds in the world today say the best hope for a cure are embryonic stem cells. Carl Riccio, paralyzed in a high school wrestling match several years ago, recalled another once healthy New Jerseyan paralyzed in a sporting accident, the late Princeton native Christopher Reeve, whose mother looked on from the audience. Today I'll leave you with the words, with his words, that also describe my own feelings on this truly historical day. Help is on the way. Wouldn't he have loved to have been here? <laughs> um, so I'm sure he's smiling someplace and saying, well, it's about time. <laughs> Hope was offered up in a big way at the ceremony. Just a tremendous, tremendous step forward and really puts the state of New Jersey at the cutting edge, really at, right on the horizon uh, of the future of how we deal with uh, some of the most serious afflictions that mankind has to deal with. Corzine called today his most joyful in public life. He didn't mention initiatives elsewhere, like California's multi-billion dollar effort, but he's aware of them. We don't want to be just part of the crowd. We want to lead the crowd. Several Democratic lawmakers who fought hardest for the initiative attended. In the future, hopefully, New Jersey will be a beacon of hope for the whole world. Uh, we, where they can look at New Jersey and say, New Jersey got it done for everybody. It's the promise held out by science for the cures that might be found in stem cells, especially embryonic stem cell research that for now is off limits to federal funding that informed all the speakers. We now have to deliver. You know, the football is now in our hands. We have to run. We have to run fast. Of course, who doesn't want to cure those diseases? We certainly would like to see all those diseases cured. We New Jersey right to life remains opposed and says use of embryos in research is immoral. Obviously, people who have family members and our members are very concerned about this as well, um, that are sick and suffering. Um, but um, it's the means that they're using to provide the cures. The borrowing approved today essentially pays for the bricks and mortar of stem cell research, but the governor and other Democratic leaders say they plan to appeal to New Jersey taxpayers next year for another $250 million in borrowing to pay for scientists and other infrastructure to make that research possible. Both houses would have to approve a bill that would put the borrowing on the ballot next fall. Jim Hooker, NJN News, the State House. Corzine says stem cell research could create about 10,000 jobs and bring in millions in tax revenue for the state.